Lately, I've been seeing them everywhere I go. When I come in the house, sometimes they sneak in after me. I find them stuck to my shoes, my hoodie, even my hair. Sometimes it seems like they're falling from the sky. I'm talking, of course, about leaves. All summer long, we've seen nice green leaves on all the trees, but now that it's fall, they're starting to turn all sorts of interesting colors. Yellow, red, orange. I think I even saw some purple ones. Trees that lose their leaves for the winter are called deciduous trees. Trees that don't lose their leaves are evergreens because they stay green all through the winter. But why are trees green in the first place? Well, the leaves on trees are green because of the chlorophyll that's in them. Chlorophyll is a molecule that lets the tree turn sunlight into energy, kind of like how our bodies turn food into energy. Back in the spring, these trees worked hard to grow their leaves so that they could get lots of energy from the sun all spring, summer, and fall long. So why would it help the trees to lose these leaves that they worked so hard to make? Well, we know that trees also need water in addition to sunlight. The trees drink up the water with their roots and carry it through the trunk, branches, stems, and leaves. If you look at a leaf closely, you can see the little veins where water carries energy and different molecules back and forth inside the tree. But what happens to water when it gets really cold? It freezes. So if there's water in these leaves and they freeze, what do you think might happen? Let's do an experiment to find out. I'm going to take an evergreen leaf, notice it's more of a needle really, and a deciduous leaf, and I'm going to put them in the freezer. As you can see, right now both leaves look healthy and strong, but after a few hours in the freezer, oh look, it's all floppy and wimpy. Even after it warmed back up, it had completely lost its structure. Freezing makes the structure inside deciduous leaves break apart so they can't work anymore. When trees detect that it's getting colder, they start breaking down that chlorophyll and taking nutrients back from the leaves. They kind of recycle it back into their stems and branches and roots. When all the chlorophyll's gone, then we can see the other colors that are inside the leaves, like yellow and red and orange. Eventually the leaves will dry up and fall off and make wonderful leaves for us to crunch on the ground. Now, some deciduous trees are able to keep their leaves on the tree a little bit longer by adding sugar to the liquid that flows inside the tree. When we get this sugar water out from maple trees, we call it maple syrup. Since sugar water freezes at a much lower temperature than regular water, this lets the tree use its leaves longer without them freezing and breaking. Today, I want you to go on a leaf hunt. See how many different shapes and colors and types of leaves you can find near where you are. I want you to find at least 10 leaves. Here's the leaves I found. If you glue them to a piece of paper, it looks really cool and it's easier to compare all the different leaves. Then, for each color, write a fraction showing what fraction of the leaves are that color. For example, if you found 10 total leaves and three of them were yellow, next to yellow you would write 3 tenths, showing that 3 out of the 10 leaves were yellow, and do this for all the colors of leaves that you found. Then we can easily convert tenths into percentages. A percentage is just parts out of 100. So if we want to convert 10 to 100, we can just multiply by 10. For example, 3 tenths is the same as 30 one hundredths. We just multiply the top and the bottom by 10, and then we get that there are 30% yellow leaves. See if you can calculate the percentages for each of the colors of leaves that you found. Then take a picture of your percentages and fractions and your leaves and share it with your class. These leaves won't last long, so I hope you'll take some time to observe them closely and appreciate their beautiful changes in colors. I hope you stay safe, have fun, and keep observing.